Martin, fight now announced with Garth Wood, 11th of December in Sydney. How much have you seen of Garth Wood? I've seen a bit of him on, on YouTube. Oliver's been doing all the homework on him, so Oliver's seen a lot more of him than me. But, yeah, I've seen a bit of him, mate. He's, um, you know, we, we, we kind of know what we're going to get with him. Now, he's an ex-rugby league player. As a, a big fan of the sport, you must have seen him, you know, all those years ago with a ball and do you have to pinch yourself that you're now boxing him? I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember him. I remember his brother, because his brother, uh, Nathan Wood, and that, he used to play for Warrington. So uh, I remember him, but I don't remember him uh, playing. I've never seen him play, I've just seen him, just seen him fight. Now, a few people have said that this is maybe a simple fight for you, but he has got a few wins that have surprised people. Obviously, he's got a knockout victory over <laughs> Anthony Mundine, so is it a case of you can't afford to overlook him? Definitely not. Any fighter, you know, not 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 just this fight, but any fighter, and any fighter going in there should never ever look at, uh, overlook an opponent, and you know that's what I've, you know, that's what I've not done with this. I've not overlooked him. He's um, he can punch a bit. Obviously, he's got a good few knockouts. He's not Mundine out, um, so he can punch, and he's gonna be he's gonna be well up for it. This is a massive chance for him. Um, he's not gonna want to get beat off me on his uh, on in his back garden on his own soil. So. It's it's a massive chance for him and he'll be taking this fight deadly seriously and that's what I've been doing. Now you're going away from home again, does that daunt you? Um, not really, no, it could be more daunting than Argentina, to be honest with you. You know, 50,000 Argies screaming, trying to kill you. So nothing can be more daunting than that. But I mean, that wasn't saving daunting, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just focused and zoned in and getting in that ring, wherever it is. And... I'm, you know, when we went to Argentina, it was a great experience, and this is going to be the same. Looking forward to going over there, getting the job done, and just um, coming back, you know, big, big world title fight next year, hopefully. Now, Ricky's mentioned that today. He's promised you a world title fight around February or March. Does that put more pressure on with this fight because you can't afford to slip up? Uh, it, not really. It, I mean, I don't need anything like that to to try and make me be more committed or more motivated or more dedicated to boxing and fights and training because I can't get any more, you know what I mean? I put my heart and soul into everything. But it's pretty much similar with, with uh, my fight when I fought on Ricky's undercard at MBM when I won into him against Navarro or Noob. Had I come through that fight, I was going fighting Martinez in, in uh, Argentina. So it's pretty much like that, really. But, you know, I'm not... It's one step at a time. I've got, I've got to get past this month first before I can even think about that. So I've not thought about that. Obviously, I want to be world champion. It'd be a dream come true when I do become world champion. But for the time being, me, me, me sights are firmly set on uh, Garth Wood. Now we're at St Helens' home ground today. When you become world champion, is it your dream to defend it here? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love an oncoming over here. Um, I'd love an oncoming in St Helens' ground, you know, after being word of being and going to and then coming back over here. It'd be a dream country for me to fight at St Helens defending a world title. I talk about British fights. People keep mentioning the name Darren Bark. Obviously, he's got the IBF title. If you win a world title in February or March, do you think there's a possibility of a unification bout next summer? Possibly, yeah. But, I mean, again, don't even want to think about anything like that. I've got Garth Wood to focus on and that's it. And same with him with Sturm. So, you know, would I like them? And could they happen? Yeah, of course they could. Of course I would like it, but just for the meantime, I've got to get past this man first. Now, Barker's going to Germany to fight Felix Sturm, something you've done yourself. Have you any uh, advice for him? Uh, advice? Um, not really, to be honest. Barker's been to America twice, and he fought over there. He's going to be... Um, I should imagine it'd be... A, then again, he fought Martinez, then so he would have got a lot of press over there, but... With Sturm, he's like quite popular over there, so he's um, he's gonna he's gonna experience that. But um, he he'll find out when he gets over there. It's all the Felix Sturm show. That's all it is, you know. That that's all the focusing on Felix Felix Sturm. And as long as Barker goes in there, gets his game plan right, goes in there, believing he can be him, which no doubt he thinks he can. Going off his last fight, great performance. Um, then he shouldn't have any problems. It, it, it is gonna be. It is going to be uh, an hard fight, but you know, but there's no, there's no way Barker's going to want to get beat in his first defence, and he'll leave no stone unturned. So I'll just, you know, just put the hard work in and uh, go over there, get the job done, and then potentially we could fight. Coming back to this fight with Garth Wood as well, 
At what time are you expected to go out there? Are you going to be out there for a few weeks or is it going to be a fairly quick job? Yeah, well, we're setting off 17 days before. Rocky Fielding's fighting, my gym mate Rocky's fighting on the Carl Frotch Groves build. He's defending his Commonwealth title. And Oliver, obviously, won't, won't be there for Rocky, so but Oliver's going to be in Rocky's corner on the 23rd and then we're going to hopefully set off the day after. So it works out 17 days before the fight because the fight's on a Wednesday. Now, going to Australia, given that you've had a couple of um, questionable decisions go against you, does that sort of, is that in the back of your mind that you could get another one, or do you think that they're uh, a very fair bunch? Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, it, it, it's no. From fighting in Germany, whereas before and was expecting to get robbed, you know, if if there was a chance, and, and same with Argentina, but with this one, I'm, I'm not looking at anything like that. You know, the, the, the Aussies, the... the very proud sportsman, but the fur as well. So I'm expecting a fur, fur crack at weight when I, when I get over there. And I'm, I don't think there'll any, be anything dodgy going on. Excellent. Well, good luck. Cheers, mate. Thanks.